Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Langston, Pennsylvania, and I'd like to show you the utility trailer that is being sold along with our 1942 Ford Jeep. This is something that I know nothing about, so I will do my best to describe it accurately, um, and you can take it from there and ask us questions. We'll take more pictures, but the trailer goes with the Jeep. It's kind of a neat, neat piece, I think. What it appears to be uh, is a military trailer, looking at the hitch and how it's structured up front. We have a Westinghouse air compressor, and it does spin mm -hmm. freely. And we have a Briggs & Stratton motor, and it also spins and turns freely. So I suspect, with, fair, with very little effort, I believe both of these would run. Below it is a compressed air tank. We have the fenders, of course. This can be for canvas. Coming along the rear of it, I think its identity is revealed. Uh, we have a pair of Graco Fireball heavy-duty pumps. So these were air-driven pumps, which is what the air compressor and tank were for. And they are sitting in these metal containers, of which there are two of them, and they're separated. Um, I've been told that this was for in-the-field pumping of lubricants. Uh, it's not gas, it's not water, so my guess is it was oil, hypoid, or something to either service tanks or military vehicles. I have no way of knowing if it was built like this or put together in a motor pool or what. I cannot find any numbers on the trailer or plates, so if anybody has any ideas, I'm happy to look closer and take pictures and look for a number, but frankly, I'm not sure where to look. The Compressor has, a, has, of course, a riveted plate, saying the Westinghouse serial number, and the Briggs & Stratton motor, likewise, has a riveted plate describing the motor itself, Briggs & Stratton. That, to me, looks military, but I'm not a military expert. Coming around this side, the tires are holding air. Uh, it will, of course, tow behind the Jeep. There's an interesting bracket here on the side that moves uh, as though it were uh, yet and another auxiliary coming off of here. There's nothing on it, so I don't know what this was. But there is a bracket there to mount something else. And there's a little box here with rags and tools and where you can keep things. So it's just an interesting little oddball trailer. Um, I think it, you know, the person can sell it separately once they get the Jeep or keep it with the Jeep. Uh, it's, a lot of people have uh, commented on this as being very interesting. So again, it is being sold with the Jeep, um, and uh, if you have any questions or like me to investigate it further, I'm happy to do that. So thanks for taking the time and looking at our Jeep and its trailer.